Okay, I know you guys have all played this game, and let me tell you what it is. It's called fill the trash as much as you can, as high as you can before it falls over. So I'm at that point where it's about to fall over, so I'm gonna take it out. Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sam. And today's video is basically an unfiltered, completely real life clean with me. And before you get too into the video, I know that people are probably going to judge me for the condition of my house because it is so dirty. But I work a lot. I have three kids who do not really contribute to the cleanliness of our house and if you have kids I'm sure you can relate and so I just wanted to tell you that it's okay if your house is a mess. I have a type A personality where I love things to be in order, I love things to have their place. Mess completely just messes me up. <laughs> I mean I can't stand messes. I love a clean home. The condition of my house right now is not clean. It is totally driving me insane. My kids are asleep and I want to knock it out. But I wanted to be able to sit here and tell you that if you find yourself very frustrated and very just you feel like a terrible person or you feel like a bad mom or a bad wife, you're not. If your kids have clean butts, if they have food in their belly, if you've sat down to play with them and they are happy and they feel loved, but your house is a disaster, that's okay. You're not a bad mom. You're not a bad wife. You're not a bad person. If your house looks better than mine, thumbs up because I am not a perfect role model. I do my best and I try to do, I try to make my kids happy. I try to make my husband happy and I'm pulled in a lot of different directions and if you can relate to me give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I just want to encourage people I want people to know that it's okay that your house is a disaster but as long as your kids are loved and they feel happy and secure and they know that mommy and daddy or mommy or daddy love them then it's okay that your house is a mess. Let me just show you the situation that I got going on because it's not pretty. But like I said, this is completely unfiltered. I wanna let you know that you're not alone. So go ahead, haters can hate, people can judge me, and that's okay because I have opened up my life and I'm showing you the completely raw, unedited, unfiltered house disaster that I have going on. Just to let you know that you're not alone. So let's get to it. Okay guys, we're in my kitchen and it is a complete disaster. I have stuff everywhere. Look at all those dishes. It's just absolutely insane. So let's clean.
So I started cleaning my kitchen and as you can see, it's just an utter disaster, but you know what? This is real life. This is my life and welcome to it. So today I'm going to show you my absolute most favorite cleaning company that I use for my cleaning products. Not all of them, but a majority of them. So this is Grove Collaborative. I'm going to open the box. I can't even remember what I bought, but ugh. they're careful. Ugh. It's not that difficult. I'm just being over dramatic. Okay, so they have the best smelling products. Some people don't. Oh, hold on. So the first thing that I got is this Acorn Spice Mrs. Myers uh, multi-service cleaner. And I know that Thanksgiving is over, but they had overstock on some of their fall smells and things like that. So I was running low on that. So I thought I'd give the Acorn Spice scent a try. And then I got the apple cider scented dish soap. Again, that's a fall scent but I don't care because I've got this before and it smells so good and I got the plum berry scented hand soap which is good because our downstairs bathroom is running out of soap and some hydrating foaming hand soap refill pineapple party scented we have a foaming hand soap dispenser for our kids and so you just pour like a little tiny bit of this in there when the rest is water so if this lasts a while Oops. and then lastly I got the seventh generation disinfecting wipes and this is the lemongrass citrus citrus scent and one thing I do want to mention about Grove is that during the pandemic you know, everybody was running out of toilet paper. Well, not us, because we could get toilet paper from Grove. They never ran out. And all of the disinfecting products, there was, one time I got on there and said that they were running low, but they never ran out. So I knew, with COVID and the pandemic, everybody's focusing on sanitary situations, being clean, nobody wants, you know, Everybody's being mindful of their the germs, except for apparently my dirty house. I don't care. <laughs> Just kidding. I do care. So that's why I got this. I will leave my referral code down below, and you can get twenty. You can pay twenty dollars for a welcome kit, and you get a ton of stuff because when I first signed up for this like maybe two years ago i got a crap ton of stuff and i'm like oh my gosh like i could not believe everything that they sent me so you pay 20 bucks and then they'll give you a ton of stuff to get started and then from there on out you can get whatever you want so yeah i'm just gonna keep cleaning okay i know you guys have all played this game and let me tell you what it is it's called fill the trash as much as you can, as high as you can before it falls over. So I'm at that point where it's about to fall over. So I'm gonna take it out.
video a thumbs up if you can find the baby in all this mess. Okay, now this is the part where people's claws might come out because I'm about to show you exactly how much laundry that I haven't folded that's just been sitting in the corner of my living room collecting and collecting over the past maybe two weeks, week and a half, two weeks. There's probably like eight loads of laundry here, but just take a look at this mountain real quick. Yeah. All of that has my name all over it. There's like five baskets. The five baskets that we own. And yeah, they're all full. Overflowing. Just waiting for me to dive right in and fold them. And I'm going to do it now. Hey guys, I finished my laundry. It's quite a relief to get all of that done. And I have everything cleaned up. My house is spotless now. And I hope you enjoyed watching this. And um, that's Honey, that's our dog. <laughs> so like I said in the beginning of my video, I hope you don't feel worthless or like a piece of junk because your house is messy. We've all been there and Give this video a thumbs up if, if you've been there too and your house has been a complete disaster and you know you just you get through it and you get it cleaned up and you make your family happy. You take care of your kids, you do what is top priority and that is giving your kids the most love that they deserve and cooking for your family or whatever you gotta do. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you're not already. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.